and hello and welcome to some guys who are mic which has been officially announced to be the longest running Maltese sausage fest <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor it's an honor not, for us not podcast sausage not fest. podcast sausage fest yes sausage. <laughs> it's, it's an honor come on yeah I, I guess yeah we had we haven't had one vagina on the show Actually, we had once the one Jacob with... doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know where he's actually going to be, right? You're pissed off, eh? About him. Anyway, is he ever not pissed off? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> anyway, this season finale comes with a video, so you are actually being eye raped right now. Mm-hmm. And joining us, me and Cesco today, is the local man from Sweetie himself, Carl Hello. Kaiser. Holy shit, this is long. <laughs> I can't dance for that long. Anyway, <laughs> before we start off the show, I would like to say that if there are any children watching this video, Please be aware that at some point, some of us will be without pants. So <laughs> it's a given. True. During the podcast, we do remove the pants, but you can't actually see it. But this time, yeah, it won't be a nice show. No. And we don't have any choice in it. So anyway, we're going to start off with the news, which has been boring lately. It has been as dry as an eight-year-old hooker's vagina. <laughs> it, it is indeed. Mm. And... The biggest news have come from the Microsoft counterpart following the E3. They have actually pedaled back, like the bitches they are, to a no DRM kind of uh, product. So after, what, three months of them telling us to fuck off and we shouldn't land games and loan games and buy second-hand games and not have sex in front of people stuff. <laughs> they have decided that, that they shouldn't do that and they are going for the PS4 kind of marketing. So, yeah. I think it has worked against them. It did, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think many people said, you know, I mean, if they actually had a product which they actually believed in, and then they backpedaled and they yeah. actually... You know, admitted that something is wrong. Yeah, they they didn't even have faith in their own product, exactly. so it's sad, really. It's sad. Anyway, Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in fact, uh, about two weeks later, which has been this week, um, Don Metric, the president of Microsoft Interactive Studios, ha- has officially announced that he will be stepping down from his position and he will be the CEO of Zynga Interactive, the famous development company behind the amazing title Farmville. Amazing. Jesus Christ. It has brought (laughs) so much awesomeness. Farmers all over the world are proud of this game. (laughs) Yes. A lot of housewives have become (laughs) farmers since then. (laughs) We're, and the agriculture business has just boomed. So, yeah, thank you, Zynga. <laughs> but anyway, Zynga Entertainment has been in troubled waters lately, and they are borderline bankrupt, but they have faulted this as a lack of leadership, and that is why Dometric is going to take up the role. But I don't think something will change, actually. Although Zynga are moving into the... Facebook poker uh, yeah, market. That won't work. Uh, yeah. I think Farmville was a one-off thing, like, I don't know, Crocs or Anal. <laughs> <laughs> it is a one-off fad. Come on. Right. It is. It is. Anal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Mm. Anyway. Following that, there has been no news at all. Except the Pope is going to be a saint. Yeah, the previous one. Yes. The previous one. Not the previous pre- uh, The previous one. The previous previous one. Previous previous one. The John, they conf- John, John Paul II. Or fifth or second. one. Or second. I.I. I, as known as America. I.I. 
they have no idea what Roman numbers are. So, to all the listeners in the US, good job. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Ivy. Oh God! No, I mean, wait, wait. Let's not start bracket with a, that. Bracket aside, I actually saw like someone posted tweets, like "Congratulations, America! You're you're two, two, 2013 years old oh, wow. today." <laughs> so, nice. And the, the amount of people that actually posted that is ridiculous. You know, that, like Independence Day actually thought it's like the birthday kind of thing. Yeah. 2013. 2013. <laughs> They are ridiculously stupid. Amazing. <laughs> They are ridiculously awesome. stupid. But then again, they are not as stupid as some of these people. For all of you who don't know what Malta is, Google it. It is basically an island in the Mediterranean Sea. Known basically for swearing. That's it. That's uh, it, that basically. <laughs> we're, very, we're very good at that. Yeah, and that's it. Can't think of anything else. <laughs> Anyway, Carl, what console will you buy? PlayStation 4. Obviously. PlayStation 4, obviously. Good. Good. Then, Edge, okay. the magazine, have uh, have a, a, the next issue that they're going to release is focused heavily on the PS4 as being the next-gen conquer. And that has never happened in the history of Edge. They have never sided with one company as such. And it's awesome. That's it? Yeah. I mean, they made some mistakes with the Xbox One, Microsoft, and pedaling back is showing that you're a bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. You know who you are. I mean, th- does I mean, as we always say, there's a thing with Microsoft every, every single bloody fucking time. I mean, they, they no. I mean, in the past, they actually um, had this kind of scot free with putting out a product. Then actually waiting for the response of people to see, I mean, what's shitty about it, then like fixing along the way. But I mean, they know that they have like a monopoly, so they do it. And uh, no, no one gives a shit. But that was the problem with the PlayStation 3. Sony were too cocky with it and they lost the battle against the Xbox in the beginning. In the beginning. But now they seem to have been focusing a lot on the kind of rekindling with the youth and uh, mm-hmm. the PlayStation 1 era. And they, I think they're winning back their 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 main market. And yeah. that's good. That's good. They, they've been focusing a lot on the advantages of developing games for the PS4, which is great because a lot more developers will opt to create awesome titles for the PS4. And... Then again, we'll see titles, new IPs, such as back in the day, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, all the games that we fell in love with. And that's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Spyro. Remember Spyro? Of course I remember Spyro. Awesome. It was awesome. I had a lack of nudity, but then again, it was a children's game. But <laughs> <laughs> being European, you expect nudity in that everything. Is, that everything. is true. That is true. I it mean... is the single reason why I still buy Bilboa. Some protection. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I mean, I have been bringing. I, I remember. Right I remember. For those of you who don't have an idea of like Italian TV, back in the nineties, you'd be like, you know, watching a cartoon, and it cuts for adverts. And first, you get the Bilboa advert, which basically was like this nude girl um, walking about, w- walking on a beach, I d- not even like applying the the, the exactly. Stuff. That, that was <laughs> the weird stuff. thing. Then after that, you get the uh, Borodalco um, advert with the nude person in the shower. On the bot. And the bot. <laughs> then at the cornflakes. I thought I it's out. Then you get the advert of Morositas with the Maron Grasse. Those, they were like a, um, a dance company, whatever, like Brazilian, and like, they had like these bouncy asses. And, like, Morositas. Oh, come on. Morositas, <laughs> the ass going like that. Then there was the advert of the martini. Again, tits in the face. Then there was the the cornflakes campaign with nude women everywhere. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> I think I met that in my brain. <laughs> no, so, yeah, I mean, we had an we had an awesome chat, but yeah, we did. Being European is awesome, but then again, and, it's frowned upon in the USA. Yeah, it's true. And, and if you were lucky, if you were lucky enough, in the afternoon they would have put on Rimini Rimini. Yes. Or or not Rimini Rimini? What's what it's called? The one of the the one with the with the um, hotel guy. Yeah, with the summer resort. Abronzatissimi. Was it Abronzatissimi? 
Você tá perguntando o Jerry Carroll? Você não perguntou assim? Huh? It was. É, tá. Yes, there was that young 14-year-old because pedophilia was popular back in the 80s <laughs> in Italy. Non la Rai. I mean, non la Rai, for whoever doesn't remember it, of course. It's, uh, how can you explain? It is a bunch of three teens and early yeah, teens. Non la Rai, non la Rai was clothes. basically a, a show for teens made by teens, but watched by old dirty men. <laughs> <laughs> what was that show? Um... Italian show, of course. It had to be Italian. Um, uh, that competition of big tits. Corpo Grosso. Corpo Grosso. It was basically a show that was shown at 7 o'clock in the evening, which... I mean, women stripping, basically. And, and you get to vote the best strip. <laughs> the best tits. <laughs> Subtle breasts. It's good. It's that good. was... We had an awesome childhood. We did. But even the cartoons. Even the cartoons. I mean, you watch, like... Cartoons nowadays they suck not because it's like fine okay there's a lack of uh, of nudity, originality but, and I mean, lack of nudity but I mean I remember Rama nudity Polon nudity City Hunter City, City Hunter nudity and yeah. drug use <laughs> Polon Polon true <laughs> cocaine <Comandone>. everywhere sembra tal comando ne sei ve per dai tirare via and throwing white powder over the place. And everyone's yeah. like happy afterwards. It was awesome. Um, uh, I tried to do yeah. that one. I wasted a lot of money. The, 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 the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> fucking waste of money. The worst one was, the worst one was, though, um, uh, Yataman. Yataman, in every single bloody episode, the female villain always ended up like with her tits out every single fucking episode awesome. but have you have you ever noticed that most of the old anime even some of the newer anime there's always the old pervert guy and there's always the hero who likes to eat it is basically the japanese demographic always, <laughs> always. always. and women in japan are always cool girls Always that with huge tits. True. Yes, that is true. Which is unheard of in Japan. But which, yeah. but, <laughs> which we 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 have like discussed this, like area, but I mean in another episode. But a friend of us um, uh, came back from uh, Japan. He was like there for a holiday. Um, Shavir, and uh, hey Shavir, and uh, hey, Shavir. Uh, apparently he came across like in, in one uh, part of the city. He came across a vending machine. Like, you know, Morty would have, like, Coke and, you know, like, sweets or whatever. And this one's, like, a vending machine selling used panties. Yeah. Yes. Japan for you. Awesome. <laughs> Japan? You're one weird, fucked up country, man. As as the as, um, family guy put it, <laughs> you know, they sometimes they do a cutscene and, like, um, uh, they represent something with uh, a visual. And it was basically um, uh, Japan, Schoolgirl, and an octopus. Oh yeah, suction cup feel good. <laughs> and it starts running after. And it starts running after this girl. It's like, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest Japanese thing I have ever seen was that banana advert. The guy blowing banana out of his nose into the face of a girl. Oh, it's very weird. The weirdest Gave one. Gave me a craving for a banana. The, the weirdest one I actually <laughs> saw was lately. And it was shown on uh, Ray William Johnson's um, uh, e- show. Equus 3 show. Equus 3. Awesome. A shout out to Ray William Johnson, who is not watching this show, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You, you should watch this show. What the fuck? Like all of those Russian people watching this show and probably not understanding jack shit. But Swatka Putka? Which is in Bulgarian, which means sweet pussy. Okay, right. Thank you, Vilo. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, it was like footage. He even he doesn't know from where he it came, but it's basically this girl opening like um, an egg and putting it in her mouth, then like spitting it in this guy's mouth, and he spits it back into her mouth. And they keep on like you know um, back and forth, just spitting this, this egg, and it's it is. One of the most disgusting, weird fucking things you ever get and to see. And now I'm craving for an omelette. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah. Uh. After no fun. 
<laughs> in Japan, apparently. Oh, we, we should have been talking about games, but anyway. <laughs> apparently, that's pretty as, cool. As you might have noticed, as a gift to you on our season finale, we didn't bring Jacob around. <laughs> So that's a big thank you to all our listeners out there who have enjoyed the past season, which was our first season in English, yeah. which didn't it's okay. well, go that bad. Uh, really. it, went, it went okay. Yeah. Besides, besides our ridiculous motifs, accents, and... Uh... It's not that bad, really. Have you seen that Maltese rap video? Uh, which one? There's a guy out there who dresses up as a superhero. Oh my god, that man is so epic. Yes, he look at him. He's wearing a costume. He's gonna save us all. What? What the hell is this? It's like? a kind of sound. I will post it on our Facebook feed. Kind of sounds like Clinton Paul. It does, actually. Oh. I think it is that. Oh, okay. What's this? Clinton Paul, Clinton Paul. Oh, He's a legend. Could it be Superman, the song? Legend is Superman. I don't know. This I'm guy, sure. this guy, this guy is a legend. He's got like a video with um, three girls kind of doing like an investigation, and uh, it starts something like, that. <laughs> "I heard a freak here." What, what do you mean, you mean a freak? <laughs> that's that's the guy. That's the accent. That it... <laughs> he used to be a normal man, but then society pulled him. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy. He the king society. <laughs> <laughs> that is the guy. And then he comes out in all in PDS clothes. <laughs> Proud to be Maltese. Not. Uh, but funny enough, I mean, he, he keeps on putting out videos which are, aren't like yours. I think he's Said. not. He's not aware. No. He's not aware of how bad he is. It's yeah. The, the, I mean, the thing that impresses me is like. It's either he's getting funding or he's actually, you know, like funding the videos himself because they're not like, you know, just a simple camera which you put in a room and, you know, you dance in it front of it. It has actually production value. It, it, it does. I mean, he's got like effects on it and like evocations and all that and like people on it and effects and, and the songs are so crap, but he keeps on putting out these videos, which is ridiculous, man. Even though the worst one is kind of soldier. Huh? Oh, oh, I see nice. that you are dry. Oh, yeah. Beer. Cheers. Uh, yeah, it's actually 75 degrees Celsius in water. Which, right apparently, <laughs> apparently, it's called actually means cheers in, in Finnish. Mm. Danish. 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 Skoll means cheers. So. And in Bulgarian, it means anal fisting. <laughs> Thank, True you, story. True story. <laughs> Thank you, Reviro. True story. Thank you, Reviro. No. <laughs> a friend of a Bulgarian friend of us. Yeah, his. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Anyway, we're saying games. Anyway, games. They're awesome. Games. And uh, they have been absent from the market right now because it's summer. Apparently, publishers don't like to push out games during summer because people go to the sea. Get you go outside. So I, I I don't want to go outside. I want to stay in and play games. You know, you know. The upcoming game in the summer is one of the craziest titles that was ever created by mankind, which is the next installment in the Saints Row series, Saints Row Four. Yeah, that's a weird fucked up game. Saints Row. It's the same one that you can beat up people, do those and stuff. No, that's it. Apparently, that there's actually a fisting machine in the game. So moving forward, yeah. <laughs> the, they just released the Independence Day trailer, and it's weird as shit because you actually fight aliens, and you can have sex with aliens and other could it, people. Could it be the connotation with Independence Day and like the movie? Yeah, awesome. It is awesome. awesome. It is weird as shit, but awesome. Anyway, so I think we should start the um, What You've Been Playing segment. <laughs> so, 
Carl, what have you been playing? What have I been playing recently? Recently, I actually started playing Metal Gear Solid 4 again. Okay, interesting. So, after I've seen the, um, the videos for the new Metal Gear Solid coming out, and and of course the um, new collection coming out as well, the Metal Gear Solid the Legacy. Legacy. But um, pity, pity it's not going to be available for Europe. Are you sure? Yeah, it's going to be US and Japan only. Yeah, but we're still well, going to get it. Um, uh, we have uh, one of our partners, uh, ICC, they will be selling it. So that's, good. that's awesome. That's good, that's good. So I've been looking forward to that, so you know, it's rekindled my... That's awesome, that's awesome. I will be getting the legacy, I yeah, haven't so played Metal Gear Solid since the release of the one, 4, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's I always, amazing. I always wanted to buy the... Um, um, what's the, 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 the remake called on GameCube? Uh, the Twin Snakes. The Twin Snakes, man. I always wanted to get that on, on the Wii, because you can play actually yeah. GameCube games on the Wii. But it's extremely expensive to buy the European version, yeah. especially it's so rare that it's so expensive. I know. So that's Kojima for you. Oh yeah, he's a dick. So Chesco, what have you been playing? And your dick doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> well, two Not sun much, two Sundays ago, I actually two Sundays ago, people, that's a gamer. <laughs> two Sundays ago. Um, I played I, I, Miss Beckman. No, no it's, it's even <laughs> worse. It's even worse. I was I'm, I'm like I'm like bored. I I, I don't want, what, what can I do? I'm like I'm going. I don't feel like staying out. So I bought SingStar. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the shit. No, no, it's. <laughs> No, no, it's true. I actually bought SingStar, bought like two microphones, like a top-up card, whatever thing it is. And um, it, it, I, I actually did like a, a total of twenty-five minutes playing it because I, I, I was like looking through songs, and I thought there would be like a, a higher variety of songs. And what like, have you been singing? I'm, I'm coming. To, I'm coming. Com, coming to it. And I'm like, oh, Queen. <laughs> And then there were like a couple of songs of Queen, which I think I can handle, you know. I can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I can uh, I can assure you, you don't have the voice of Freddie Mercury. You know, <laughs> you, know, you know that scene from South Park when they have like the Christian band and uh, Rem <laughs> Randy comes in and he's like, Well, I thought a bunch of uh, Vietnamese... <laughs> Soldiers were raping you. Or <laughs> I actually sounded like that, you know. Like, I'm like, fuck this. Put down the microphone. You know, like 20, 25 euro for. It. Actually, no, it was more top up card. Anyway. So yeah, that was like a, a, a big, big fail. I will, I will give it a, another try eventually. You might um, be good at singing some cosplay because. Not cool. Actually, I could sing a Quiet Riot song, and I could actually sing um, a Lana Del Rey song. No, <laughs> <laughs> Safe Tonight by Igor Sherry. But then I tried um, Take on Me by Aha, and no. Uh, I mean, he got, Take on and it keeps on like going up. And, and up, this is why and we are the longest running sausage fest in the world. Yeah, I mean. Listen, I mean, doesn't mean if, if if any like girls want to join in or whatever. I mean. Might I add over eighteen because it sounds like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you approaching kids? Uh, I guess it uh, mm -hmm. sounded bad. Uh, I imagined Chris Hansen take a seat. I'm already sitting down. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, sing star. Fame. Sorry. Okay, you. I have uh, finished off The Last of Us, which wasn't bad, but wasn't really that fantastic, balls to the face. I know a lot of people are praising it as the second coming of Jesus on everyone's face, but it's not really that. <laughs> I mean, it's more of a movie than a game. Okay, I know that some of you don't really play that much, and... You don't really like playing that much, but what the fuck? I, I'm not into the video stuff. I want to play and have fun and, and 
I don't know, I found it really boring at the end of the day and the story was actually really really predictable and most of the story was copied from The Walking Dead. I'm a huge fan of the comic book series and of the film series and of the Telltale's game series. So I pretty know zombies a real lot but oh my god. Every cutscene, oh this is gonna happen and that, oh and this is gonna end this way. You actually, I could have predicted all of the story at once. And I can see where you're going to. You mentioned zombies. Why? World War Z, so yeah. But that's going in the Chesco movie, but because there's another game, which is the underdog at the moment, which I have to mention, which is called Remember Me. Remember Me is a fantastic game, which a lot of people didn't buy just because the protagonist is a female character. And that's really stupid. She has a wicked ass. <laughs> you get to look at it for hours and hours. But imagine a game set in 2080 in Paris. Very futuristic shit. The kind of setting you see in Blade Runner. Awesome. And some guy invented the technology that you can actually modify and erase some of your memories. So, or you can erase all your bad memories and stuff, and then there are those groups of people which are errorists, which make use of your memories for the bad stuff. And this is a fantastic game. It is very great generation. Yeah. And the thing is, it is realistic because Paris is depicted as a piece of shit city with assholes as Parisians, which is in the current very, situation. Which is very, very, very drop dead accurate. Accurate. Very accurate. <laughs> And the gameplay is basically, imagine you have Uncharted's platforming with the combat from a fighting game. So it's just, you create and chain combos, and the combos you create, you can actually, each button you successfully press will give you stuff. For example, um, you can select one button to give you back health. So whilst you're fighting, you are actually getting held back. The other will give you more time to cool down your special moves. It's a fantastic game. I, I really had fun playing it. It's an actual game that you play and enjoy playing. Okay, a lot of people said that the story was too futuristic and shit. I don't give a shit about the stories. I want to play a good game. It's an actual game that you can blow your steam off. I mean... I'm having a very shitty time at work right now. <laughs> so I come home, I just play it and I feel relaxed. It's like, like jacking off after a long time. Which doesn't happen. Yeah. It's something that has to happen <laughs> on a daily basis. Yeah, a daily basis. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I think that concludes our What You've Been Playing section. <laughs> Just heard him talking in Maltese. Yeah, which pointing, is a big no no. I'm, I'm pointing out uh, Matthew's awesome pair of Queen RPs. And the two albums signed by Ronald Jenkins. Ronald Jenkins himself. Nice. Ronald Jenkins is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. He's a very nice guy. I actually talked to him on GTalk. When I went to buy those albums, I told him I'm a big fan and we use his songs on our podcast and he actually signed them for us. Awesome. He's a very fantastic guy down to earth. I love him. Cool. Anyway, I think we should stop for a break. We will not be masturbating each other's dicks, just to make it clear. Just our own. No. Yeah. yeah, just our own we're actually, in the dark. So actually, we're, we're it's not to, gay at all. We're, jung- we're going to play Limb Biscuit and uh, then we'll tell you like, the, the rules. Chesco are... loses on purpose during Limb Biscuit. Just. That's true. Yeah, uh, what? And we're back, sweaty and all, with all the sex and shit. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna start. 
<laughs> We're gonna start off with the Chesco movie buff. <laughs> Did it to thousand dance? Oh. Say. Actually, remember when in the nineties there were like three moves, which everyone did. This. You had you had to pump it up, put it back on. You had. To... Yeah. And reach for the sky. He actually invented all of those in no, the it's 90s. True. No, no, that's true. <laughs> Everyone in the 90s remember those. Remembers yeah. those. Anyway. Anyway, Chesco, from the movie section, you watched World War D. Oh, Z. World War Z. <laughs> D stands for dick. I, I watched World War Z. I mean, I, I admit it wasn't... I mean, people were saying it's going to be shit, it's going to be, you know, like a, a train And it actually a, was a worse. Train wreck. No, it... It's nothing to write home about. But it's an okay movie. I mean, I wouldn't go watch it another time in the cinema. Like I normally would do with like movies. Like, and like, it maybe gave you gonorrhea? Not quite. Syphilis. But, okay. Um, uh, I mean, as I'm saying, it's, it's nothing to write home about. But I mean, the, uh, people were saying it's never going to be able to like um, uh, cover the costs and whatever. But I mean... I actually checked today on IMDb, and if I'm not mistaken, it cost like something like 160 million to make, and in the first two weeks it made um, 123 million, and they're already like planning on a sequel. So, I mean, they're pr- probably either projecting they're going to cover the costs, and they're counting on its success to make like more of it, basically. Um, uh, How was Brett Pitt's performance? Because I really don't see him as a it was a hero actually, type of guy. It was it was actually decent. It was actually decent, but um, the character I actually enjoyed most in the movie was this like really was second, zombie number five. No, was actually <laughs> this like secondary character is like a a female Palestinian um, soldier, which is she's really like a secondary um, character in the movie. Really, really not important, but amazing performance. And I mean, I I worked on the movie locally when it was, was like being shot locally, and they were here for like a couple of months, like three to four months, if I'm not mistaken. And they spent millions over here. Did and you it, see Brad Pitt naked? No. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, thing is, I mean, you realize the the magnitude of of these movies when you see something up and close like this, when. Uh, you know, that movie is like two, two hours, I think, long. And the segment from Malta actually was like eight minutes tops. So, and I actually remember, like, I mean, we, we were like uh, on the final day of shooting. We were shooting down the Riviera Bay next to St. Paul out in uh, Apple's out oh, in And uh, all of you Russians know exactly where that is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mean, nothing that was shot on the day actually made it onto the movie. We had like literally like uh, zombies crawling out of the sea, kind of thing, with like bodies on the wa- in the water. So the, basically, the, the idea was that they they wanted to show that the way they were like spreading, kind of thing. Nothing. I mean, we spent a whole day over there, and like millions were spent on the day, and like, nothing. I mean, didn't even make it on the final cut. So uh, maybe uh, they will make it on the director's cut. Probably. I mean. I mean, they have to extend the movie, like, uh, one way or another, so... But, again, I mean, it it isn't anything to write home about, but it's a fun movie. I mean, it's it's fun, action, explosions, okay. people running, and... If you, really had to compare it, if you had to compare it with any other zombie movie... No, hmm. I mean, I, I would go for, for, I don't know, like, for example, I would go for um, I Am Legend any other day. I am Legend actually, I mean, especially the um, the alternate ending version. That was awesome. The decent ending version. That that's awesome. Also, star I started this week watching like a new season, which I, I really was like impressed that they actually start new seasons in summer. I, I had no idea. Anyway. Um, Is it Heli Billy Fisting? No. Okay. It's <laughs> Backdoors last night. No. <laughs> Um, uh, from this, you mentioned something that you were correct. You said Simpsons already did it. Um, it's basically oh, a God. series. The Dome. Or... It, series. <laughs> what the fuck? This, <laughs> the series is actually called Under the Dome. But 
Although the Simpsons actually, the Simpsons movie is based upon actually, the, the idea the of getting at the, do- I mean, the government closing them under a dome, you know, um, under the dome, the series, this one, um, is written by Stephen King and Stephen King has been, um, writing the story since 1979. So basically, Stephen King has written inspired, the Simpsons movie. Inspired the, the. It has been confirmed that the Simpsons movie was written by Stephen King, basically. And yeah. <laughs> what? And directed by Steven Seagal. What? And what is... it's it's what? It's interesting. I mean, it's it's a fun um, season, I guess. It's, so it's basically, fun... what you're saying. <laughs> Pretty yeah. Makes sense. So we're not gonna watch that. Instead, we're gonna watch Top Gear, which has started last Sunday, and is epic as shit. Jeremy Clarkson has really aged. He looks like my left testicle on a hot day, which really means that we are getting old. Someone actually <laughs> at the same rate. <laughs> someone actually point told me about like a tattoo idea. Which is ridiculously awesome. Imagine if you get like you, you know like the scales on like um, thermostats. Okay. Like um, Kelvin or whatever. Like. Imagine you get that tattooed in the on your inner thigh, and basically you want to check like how hot it is. You just check how low your testicle is hanging. That's actually quite <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's the really oh, I'm sorry, but how did you see that tattoo? <laughs> no, no, he actually told me about like his idea, and um, I was like, forgot about that. And I'm like, you, sir, are a genius. <laughs> what? Holy this, shit! This is amazing. <laughs> it reminds me of a beard T-shirt. As you can see, we are all in different phases of beard. We have the feminine beard <laughs> over there. <laughs> we have the hobo beard over here, and we have the wizard beard over there. So it's the different phases of beard. And there is a shirt with the level of beards. But, um, yeah. hobo but, shirt. And he has a very respectable mustache on his shirt. For all of the for all of those people who don't know who that guy is, you can just switch off this podcast because you don't have my respect. That is <laughs> the man himself, Ron Swanson. Imagine tomorrow we get sued by <laughs> the Parks and Recreation people. <laughs> You said Ron Swanson. Oh my god, one million dollars. I don't have that. Whore yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ah. That's not a punishment, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. What have you been watching? Like, uh, any... I have watched um, Asa Akira's Insatiable 2. <laughs> I love Asa Akira. Oh, she's amazing. Fuck. Speaking of Asa Akira, sorry to interrupt the, what you've been watching, um, but have you seen the um, Going <laughs> Deep with Kasim G? No. Okay, Kasim G is a YouTuber. Yeah. And he has a series called Going Deep with Kasim G. Oh, when he interviews Asa Porn stars. Oh. And there's one episode uh, with Asa Akira. Akira. She's good sport, though. I mean, she, she, she's, she's actually awesome, man. Amazing. I love, I, I love her post on Twitter last Valentine's Day. Nothing on Twitter. Nothing says Happy Valentine's Day like being gangbanged by 10 black guys. Okay. <laughs> what? Nice. She is awesome. She's amazing. <laughs> Are we talking about porn on a gaming podcast? <laughs> we had a low... It's... it's either dicks or porn and not enough games in the between so <laughs> it's sad and this is on video so it can actually be used against us in the court of rule anyway I have been watching Parks and Recreation and Dexter the new series which is the final series in the season. It isn't bad, though you can see how it's gonna end. With anal bleeding and that stuff, but... Chipotle? Yeah, Chipotle. And I have been watching Captain Tsubasa. Oh. Which makes me think how bad that fucking series was. So and. Good. 
it's amazing. How naive I was when I was a child and watched these films and enjoyed it. Second season of Captain Tsubasa is actually flashbacks and flashbacks within flashbacks. So it's one, basically Inception. Yeah. There's one game match that has been spread over seven episodes. Each episode is 20 minutes long. Of course. What fucking football match is this? <laughs> I mean, when you have a pitch which is large enough to actually see the curvature of the earth. Oh my god. I mean, it has to take a long time. <laughs> uh, but and you can clearly see why Japan sucks at soccer, because the rules in Captain Tsubasa are really... I don't know what three yellow cards get you a red card. You can actually ride on the goalpost you can do whatever you want supporters can actually play instead of players <laughs> unlimited um, uh, replacement so what the fuck mm. amazing yeah I love it and the, funny, the funny thing <laughs> is like I mean most Italian um, uh, youths uh, grew up like and know, Spanish um uh, about one year ago, actually, during an interview, Torres, which is a Spanish player, actually stated that he started playing football because he used to watch Oli and Benji. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 really? they are yeah. like inspired it's by... A, it's on an interview, you can see it online, right. it's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like a testament to how how that cartoon influenced yeah. people, but, I mean, for fuck's sake... <laughs> And the same company which dubbed the Italian version dubbed the Spanish version, so they have the same theme song, the same everything, just in Spanish. It sounds really weird. It's like watching Mexican porn. What? So racist. So we're actually gonna be murdered soon. <laughs> Anyway, I hope so. Why? <laughs> anyway, should we add something else to this section, this dry section? Have you watched anything interesting lately? Well, recently I've been watching a lot of Japanese drama, Japanese TV. <laughs> This is long. <laughs> Japanese drama? Japanese drama. Interestingly enough. Um, they have a very specific so genre basi- of TV drama. Basically, his own, the only Maltese person who actually understands and speaks Japanese. Well, I'm studying it. So, he's so, on the way to being I'm the on first. the way, I'm on the way. But, yeah, Japanese TV drama is quite interesting, actually. They have very particular themes. I've actually been watching one um, romantic comedy drama. The Octopus I, I, and I, Me. <laughs> actually, it's actually not too far. <laughs> it's actually about a love triangle between three people who live in the same house. But one of them is an alien, of course. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm Does not... he have tentacles? Uh, no, but his dick Damn. actually lights up green. I'm not joking. I'm actually not joking. But if, if someone wants to look it up, it's called um, uh, Share House no Koi Bito. I'm not joking. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's actually a real thing. Japan, everyone. Because um, the alien uh, was being contacted by his people. And the way they contact him is by lighting up his dick green. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> that would be a cool magic trick. Hello, everyone. <laughs> party starter, the party trick. <laughs> be awesome. It'd be awesome. I have to watch these shows more frequently. Once, uh, once I tried watching a uh, Spanish. Actually, it was a Mexican drama. Maria? No. Oh my gosh. I mean, it, tragic. I mean, throughout the whole thing, even, even if probably they were like, you know, celebrating someone's birthday. I mean, it sounds so tragic anyway. Boy, oh, sweet. Yeah, kind of, you know, like, I, I don't understand the language, but I mean, it sounded very Dramatic. deep. 
Most probably they were saying, cut that piece of cake, please, and share it with us. <laughs> it actually always sounded like, you know, the Godfather kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you don't, uh, then they changed the voice back to normal during sex. You know, <laughs> the growling is left over. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, what the fuck is wrong with us and being racist on the show? Because <laughs> it's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> And we're gonna have a cease and desist letter <laughs> next week. <laughs> Talking about racism, I have been uh, racially discriminated last week. I have been talking about it before the show, actually. I was gonna be refused service because I was mistaken for a Jew. In Malta. In Malta, just, just when Malta. actually being a Jew is a, a very rare thing. I mean... And they never did anything to Malta. No. I mean, it's not... I, I have no idea. I, w- <laughs> I mean, it's not it's, like it's there's the the presence of, of Jews, you know? That, that, it's it's that, baffling. What, it it fuck, is man. baffling. I mean, what the fuck? I, I went to a hardware store. I was going to buy something for... Um, my boss and I actually went into the hardware store. I need wait, wait, wait. Are you a Jew? No. Are you sure you're not a Jew? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not a Jew. Okay, because I wasn't gonna sell you stuff if you were a Jew. Amazing. What the fuck? Amazing. But why? Yeah, why? Actually, have you seen recently there was this um, billboard, or there is this billboard, but. Um, in in Pottsville, going up the hill from the cinema, mm-hmm. you know they're building a new uh, a new building for the a, a local cab um, cab service company. Okay. And there's this billboard with um, with headlights oh, from one of the cars. God. And it says "Black neighbors coming soon." It's 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 so good. It's so good. It's amazing. I think it's such an amazing. It's such a witty. It's such a witty billboard. <laughs> I don't know who green flags these things. But yeah, the, that's okay. That's perfectly okay. But I think it's a really witty one. I, I, I like it's it. It's like, like it. once Sony actually made um, uh, an advert of their PSP, white versus black. Actually, a white guy and a, bla- uh, a white girl and a black guy head to head. White versus black. Which is the better? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How will I choose my next PSP color? You know what? what what's actually? <laughs> I don't know what they did when they released their special edition Simpsons version, which was yellow, an Asian guy at the back. <laughs> you know, you know what's actually funny. Racist. You know, you know there's like that thing. It's suppose suppose we you know to um, train your arms or whatever. Oh, uh, uh, jerk off, bro. Uh, the, the the shake weight. The shake yeah. weight, and they actually have like two have versions. Two. They have like the white version and the black version. <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not joking. The black version is like bigger. Anyway, before we're gonna, we, before we get sued, I think we should com- <laughs> continue this discussion off the air. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we should conclude this season. It has been an awesome experience actually starting off a new season in English, and we will be continuing this series in English. Maybe even next year in Russian, if we can learn it that fast. But we have bought some books, Russian for Dummies, Russian and 21 Days, and Russian for You. He he he. Actually books from Amazon. Yeah. So we'll give it a go. Anyway, if you want to keep up with the latest news and reviews from the gaming industry, which have something to do with games actually not like this show um log on to www.samguysonmike.com or lemonparty.org which is our sister website <laughs> and it's that. awesome you can also follow us on facebook and twitter at some guys on mike and you can watch this video if you are not already watching this video but it's redundant <laughs> on youtube.com slash some guys on mike video if we ever release this video, if we do release it, it's awesome because we still have to edit the bloopers from season two from two years ago. Nice. <laughs> Procrastination and Walta. Awesomeness. Anyway, we'll be back in October 
after a hellish summer here and hopefully Jacob won't be back but we'll see we'll see we, we, we can't assure you we can't assure you that he won't be back we will probably do that in video just to show you Jacob in real life because some people don't really believe that Jacob is true and they he's, still believe he is CG but he, he's, he is true he, some people actually think he's like um, again I, I mentioned again um, uh, South Park like Slash yeah he's like Santa Claus you know he's yeah, like an, yeah. a, an imaginary figure that um, bring, brings happiness to people like her. but uh, he is the opposite of that and brings sadness and disparity to all or as we've been saying that the vocaloid character Hatsune Miku yeah, exactly so. he was responsible for the Nadu riots in 1975 which caused 1700 deaths which is more than the actual population of Gozo <laughs> But it did happen. <laughs> you can find it on Wikipedia sometime Facts. next week. <laughs> Facts for you! <laughs> but anyway, big announcement from us. We will be starting a new webcomic, which we haven't bothered to title yet. If you want to see the lead character, you can see the first sketch on our Facebook page. So make sure you're gonna watch it. It's gonna be a new webcomic which focuses really on the daily shit we have to deal with, especially in Malta and as gamers. So keep on the lookout, it will be released soon. Anyway, we're gonna leave you, we'll be back in October. Make sure you masturbate at least three times a week without watching porn. It actually helps your prostate. Yes, it it helps your prostate and you actually poop healthier. Some way that's fiber, that's different, but anyway. It is? Anyway, and I hope you enjoyed the show and you'll be back for more. If you will be back for more, you either are bipolar or you have some kind of schizophrenia or something. Anyway, we love you. We are ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs>